The gram stain is one of the most important techniques microbiologists can learn, but luckily it's also one of the easiest. So today we're going to cover how to heat fix a slide and then how to gram stain it. The gram stain allows us to differentiate bacteria by the components of their cell wall. Gram positives have more peptidoglycan in their cell walls than gram negatives and therefore stain differently. The equipment list will appear on the screen now, so if you need time to read it, please pause the video. Also, you must have the correct PPE, which is gloves, face mask, lab coat, and safety goggles, which I forgot to put on in this clip, unfortunately. Now it's time to prepare your slide, so label it something appropriate before putting it down to flame your inoculation loop. Pick some water up with your sterile inoculation loop. You should be able to pick some up within the loop itself, and it should look just like that. Place the water droplet onto the slide and flame your loop again before you put it down. Now, take any tape you might have off your plate so you're ready to take a sample from it. Place it appropriately and flame your inoculation loop before you pick up any sample. Also, make sure it's cool enough. You don't want to damage your bacteria. Then, when you're ready, scrape up a small colony and place it onto your slide. Spread that sample as far and as thin as you can onto the slide and flame your loop before you put it down. Now you're going to use the Bunsen burner to heat up your side just a little bit to evaporate the water off, but you don't want to get it too close and it'll thermally lyse your sample. Once your sample is dry, it should look kind of cloudy white and slightly opaque, something like that. And now all you need to do to heat fix it is pass it through one, two, three times into the flame. Well done, you've just heat fixed your first slide. Now you need to turn your Bunsen off, go get some gloves on and put your safety goggles on, which you can't see because they're already on my head. Now you need to make your way over to the sink to start your gram stain. To start your gram stain, take a few drops of crystal violet and add it to your slide. The crystal violet binds to the peptidoglycan in the bacterial cell wall. Wait 30 seconds and then rinse under running water to get rid of excess crystal violet. Next, add a few drops of grams iodine. This is your mordant, which binds to the crystal violet molecules and traps them within the cells. Wait another 30 seconds and then rinse under running water to get rid of any excess iodine that still remains. Now it's time to decolorize with ethanol. This gets rid of any excess crystal violet still bound to the cells. Rinse the slide with ethanol until no more purple color runs off the slide. This should take around 10 seconds to do. Rinse under running water to get rid of any excess ethanol. Finally, add a few drops of your counter stain safranin. If your bacteria is gram negative, this stain shows up clearer than the crystal violet, giving it a bright red or pinkish color. But if your bacteria is gram positive, the crystal violet will show up clearer and look purple. Now you've just got to wait a very long and a very boring two minutes for it to, oh wait, that was quick. All you need to do now is get some paper towels ready for your slide. Rinse the slide under running water for a final time until the safranin is gone and take it over to your lab bench. Gently pat your slide dry before observing under the microscope. And what you should see is something very cool. How pretty is that? 